Okay, in this problem we're asked to determine if our vectors v1 and v2 are linearly independent, and if they're dependent to find a linear combination such that they vanish. So we're given that v1 is given as 2, negative 4, 6, v2 is negative 5, 10, negative 15. And we want to see if they're linearly independent. And we have a theorem that tells us that the only solution to this system where our columns of our matrix are given as our vectors and the, the only solution C1, C2 equals 0 is when C1 C2 equals 0. If this is true, then our system is, or our vectors are linearly independent. So we want to solve this system. And so we can go ahead and just calculate the um, we can go ahead and use, put our matrix into a reduced row echelon. So we have so we'll take row 2 and set that equal to 2 times row 1 plus row 2 to get a 0 in our second row column 1. So neg 4 plus negative 4 is 0. And similarly for row 3, we'll set row 3 equal to 3 times row 1 plus row 3. So we have, oh, sorry, negative 3 times row 1. So we have negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So our, solution, our matrix simplifies down to 0, negative 10 plus 10 is 0. 2 times negative 3 is 6, or is negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. Minus 15 is 0. So we get that our matrix is simplified down to 2, negative 5, then 0, 0, 0, 0. So this tells us that if we let 2, C1, minus 5, C2, B equal to 0, then we have a solution. So we can let C1 equal 5 halves times C2. So there are actually an infinite number of solutions. So we know that our two vectors are not linearly independent. We can go ahead and find one. So if we let C2 equal 2, then that implies that C1 is equal to 5. So we'll go ahead and check that this solution works. So we have 5 times our vector v1 plus 2 times our vector v2. So we have 10 minus 10 is our first component. Second component is negative 20 plus 20. And our third component is 30 minus 30.
and all of our components reduced down to zero. So we see that we found a linear combination, C1, C2, where C1 is 5, C2 is 2, such that C1 times V1 plus C2 times V2 vanishes. So we determined that V1 and V2 are linearly independent, and we found a solution such that it vanishes.